Guam, Barack Taya Hawa, Barack Taya Hawa Shah, Barack Taya Hawa, Barack Taya Hawa Shah, Kal Halayam La Yahawa, Bahashem Yahawa Shah, Bahashem Harakaku Dash, Ma Ma, only give a double honor to the elders of GMS, and salutations to the sincere Akim, pushing his truth and sincerity around the four corners of this earth. I'm the Carbon Yasharala coming out of the GMS Lions Den Camp here in Jacksonville, Florida. And now today I'll be coming out with another little lesson. And the title of this lesson is uh, The Wicked Boasted and Are Not. And this was an uh, order given by the elder Harawana McCamp. You know, uh, the, 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 the side nigga, the side nutter, whatever the hell his name is. Uh, he, you know, he was uh, boasting about it. He, he was boasting, you know, about this victory that he so-called got over Sakari. You know what I'm saying? He did get a victory. He got a victory over Sakari, but he did not get a victory over Yahweh by Hashem was shot. He did not get a victory, you know, um, over over somebody that's true and sincere. He got a victory. He got a victory over somebody that was just as wicked as he is, that believe in the same thing and supporting him. I just named it the wicked boasters on our, and are not. You know, because you know when somebody wicked, you know somebody like Esau, they wicked. They like to boast and and we we did it and, and all this, but eventually that boasting is going to be come. It's going to come to nothing. It's not. It's not, It's going to come to not. But um, without further ado, I'm gonna just get right into the scriptures and uh, just let the scriptures speak. This is Hosea chapter four, verse six. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou should be shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy power. I will also forget thy children. See. Our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. All that Kemet, Jabari, them them cats, and they, 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 that's, that's, that's bull. I mean, I was watching the video, and honestly, I couldn't get through too much of it because about 25, 30 minutes in, I, I got a serious headache from watching it, and I had to stop watching it. But they are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. They are, they, they worship the woman. That Kemet junk, or, or whatever it is, they worship the woman. They got it, they got it wrong. They got it flipped upside down. But, that's just because they are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, i.e., you know what I'm saying? And also that, that dude that was talking to him, that was part of uh, Sakari's uh, little sector, the Gorilla Hebrews or whatever. He, he's going to perish for a lack of knowledge. And it showed that he didn't have any knowledge when uh, they was asking him the question that they was asking him. He kept trying to change it. And then what was the funny part about it was um, when uh, he, he, he stopped to answer ice cream truck came plant came flying by like riding by playing the song that was playing in his head because he had nothing to say the heavenly father he he's funny man but nonetheless our people perish for a lack of knowledge they perish because they don't really know what the deal is they perish because they believe in somebody else's religion they perish because they believe in somebody else's philosophies you know so guess what? And then when the truth comes to them, they reject the truth of knowledge. They reject that knowledge. So guess what? The Heavenly Father will also reject them. You know what I'm saying? That they will not be no priests. They will not be men of the Lord or set up by the Heavenly Father to do the work. You know? Because they have forgotten the law of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Which they have forgotten the law. Again, this is a cut. This is a cut on everything. The whole them, the, the, all, all of it. It don't matter who it is. I, the Heavenly Father gave me some scriptures, and it's in from the way it looks. It's a cut on the whole issue. So, Sakara, Sinetta, all that foolishness. But um, our people have forgotten the law of Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh. They've forgotten the law, of statutes, commandments. To be not unequally yoked together with unbelievers, according to Corinthians. So they've forgotten the law. So the Heavenly Father is going to forget them and their children. Matter of fact, this is lucky. This is First Corinthians, First Corinthians, chapter eight, uh, verse two. It says, "And if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet, as he ought to know. If any man, if you think you know something, you already know what you're supposed to know. And that dude, whoever that dude was, that was part of Sakari's little thing." A little, little, little sector, little whatever, guerrilla Hebrew, second in command, he's general, whatever. He don't know what he's supposed to know. It just says right here in the scriptures, in uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 8, verse 2, it says, If any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing, yet he ought to know. So you think you know something, you don't know what you're supposed to know. You're supposed to know the laws and the commandments of the scriptures. 
of the Heavenly Father and his scriptures. You're supposed to know to not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers. You know, you're supposed to know not to get in debates with people that are carnal. You're supposed to know not to to talk to people that you know are going to blaspheme the word. They was making a mockery of the word. Them, them Kemet dudes, whoever they is, Egyptology dudes, and they dumb too. Because they talking about Egyptology, and and uh, the Sakara dude, he did make a point. Uh, uh, Napoleon did bring that, and Napoleon was an Edomite. So you know they believe in a, in a, in a, in a, in a so-called white man's religion, his belief. It's 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 an Egyptology, but how come it's not an America Americaology? How come it's not a Russiaology? Uh, how come it's not an Indiaology? Like all these other 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 places, you know what I'm saying? In the world, how come it's only just an Egyptology? And see what them 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 Kemet folks fools don't believe. That um they they were talking about Cleopatra and all that. Cleopatra was a she was an Edomite. She was um she was a part of the line of Ptolemy. But nonetheless, they believe in a doctrine that's not even their own doctrine. They believe in a truth. They well they believe in a false truth. But anyways, the main the main point is if any man think that he knoweth anything, he knoweth nothing yet that he's ought to know. You think you know what I'm saying? They and they think they know so much about the history and what's going on. But they don't know what they're supposed to know, which is the scriptures, which is how the, how the Heavenly Father has it set up, how we're supposed to walk, talk, live, and move. But our people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, so they're going to continue in that foolishness, and they're going to be destroyed, point blank, period. This is Matthew chapter 22, verse 29. And Yahweh shall answer and said unto them, Ye do err, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of Yahweh. And see, our people, they, they err. They go off. They break the law. They break the statutes. They break the commandments. You know what I'm saying? Not knowing the scriptures. Just like that dude, he didn't know the scriptures. He couldn't back that up, what he was, what he was uh, speaking on. He couldn't back it up. That, that, that err. You know what I'm saying? Our people err, not knowing the scriptures. Going off in different beliefs. Doing different things that's not um, according to the scriptures of Yahweh Bahashim Al that's contrary. This is Matthew chapter 23. Start at verse 13. This is woe, this is but woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye shut up the kingdom of heaven against men. For ye neither go in yourselves, neither suffer ye them that are entering to go in. See, they shut up the kingdom of heaven. These so-called that's out here talking about, oh yeah, this and we did this and we the home of the truth and the ISUPK and, the, and the blah, 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 blah. They shut up the kingdom of heaven. They cause people, they stop people from coming to the knowledge of truth. You know, but then they, they shut the kingdom of heaven up off to other people, but they themselves don't go into it. You know. Verse 14, woe unto you scribes and Pharisees and hypocrites, for ye devour widows' houses for a pretense, make long prayer, therefore shall ye shall receive greater damnation. You know, you devour the, the widows' houses. What's a widow? A widow is a, a husbandless, a, a woman that has no man. Who is our man? Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. We are Israel, you know. Um, Israel is likely unto a calm and delicate woman. Yahweh Shai is our bridegroom. To get us to the Heavenly Father. Because we cannot get to the Heavenly Father but through the sun. So like y'all thought it was raining a little bit, but it's all right. Um, and for that, you know what I'm saying, for a pretense, make long prayer. You know, you, you talk to the Heavenly Father all along. You make all these prayers. You make it seem like, oh, this and da 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 it's gonna, you know what I'm saying? Those people are gonna receive greater damnation. All these false ABC Israelite camps out here are gonna receive greater damnation. Because they're blocking people from coming to the to the to the truth. And they themselves are not entering into the truth. You know. They devour the houses, you know, some widows' houses. They 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 they, they cause people, you know, they cause our people to go off, to stay going off, because they already done went off. They they keep our people off to the left. And and for a pretense, make long prayer. They do all these gatherings and all this other stuff to, you know, just just all manner of different things that don't 
Build up the truth and don't do anything for your Bahashim Yahweh Shah. On for their own glory. For that they're going to receive a greater damnation. Verse 15. Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye can pass sea and land to make one proselyte, and when he is made, ye make him twofold more the child of hell than, than uh, yourselves. See, again, our people, these so-called Israelite groups, these so-called other groups that claim they came it and and Africans and all this other BS, you know what I'm saying? They they make one process like they make somebody one like them, and then when that person is made, they make him twofold more wicked than they are. You know what I'm saying? Than themselves. They bring somebody under them. I'm gonna skip the 25. It says, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For ye make clean the outside of the cup of the platter, but within they are full of extortion and excess. See, woe unto you, destruction unto y'all that, that look good on the outside like that dude that was with Sakari, the gorilla, the second in command, he looked.